YouTube, how's it going? The intro's back. So many of you guys were asking for that. The old school videos. The old school videos are back. We're back again, baby. Today, I'm playing 2K21, Tri-Sport Athlete. Catch me on Fortnite, Minecraft, and 2K21, baby. Today, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about 2K21. Many of you guys are just buying the game and stuff, so I'm just going to do a little rundown for you guys. This is the most efficient way of getting VC for 2K21. For one hour, you can get 25,000 VC, and it's really easy. You can literally have your phone in one hand, right? Controller in one hand, and you're just cashing in on VC. Mr. Beast, let's go. So this is what you do. You go to Blacktop first, just to start off. A little one-on-one -on -one action, all right? Boom, you want to pick the ringers. Make sure you pick the ringers, because ballers, right? You can pick ballers too, but just pick ringers. It really honestly doesn't matter. All right, boom. Game conditions, this is key now. This is the first step. You want to put it all the way to five. Not 50, not six, not, no, five. Simple as that. Boom. This is what I like to personally do. I press triangle. Boom, I bring the classics team. Yes, sir, I'm using Chef Curry. 97 overall. It doesn't matter, Curry's Curry. He's a sniper regardless, but you can even use KD. I'm going to use Chef Curry. Boom. I got him. Now, what do I do next is I pick a Randy, a generic guy who's bald, no eyebrows, Sam Williams. He's going to be our test dummy. I'm sorry, Sam Williams, that I got to do this to you, but it needs to be done. Simple as that. Boom, you start it. Advance. Let the menu play, whatever. Skip that. We're not watching the episode right now. And I'm going to just show you guys a little bit. And a lot of people have been, like, scared about the shot meter and stuff, right? But there's no need to fret. Honestly, there's a way to change it back but i'm gonna talk about that a little bit later but this is literally all you do right here boom straight off the bat that wasn't a green but close enough now what i like to personally do is i just move out of the way you can score you can take a layup you can take a dunk that's fine the, the only thing i'm trying to do is win this game boom two for two scores up to five he can score now i'm gonna get a layup Right? And it gives you about 200 VC for each game up to five. And look how quick that was. Like, look how quick that game was right there. Boom, we're done. Now, you gotta pay close attention. Your VC earnings are being saved. Boom, you're good. Rematch. It's easy. It's so easy, bro. It's so easy, bro. Especially if you're using like a Chef Curry. Like, Green Bean, hit him with it. Green Bean's back, baby. It's on 2K21 now. Look how easy this is. Like, guys, you guys can do this too, bro. Like, it's so easy a caveman can do it, bro. Like, look at that, bro. Hit me with the green bean again, bro. This is so easy. 200 VC for the first game. I'm about to get another 200. Bro, I'm going to be the Mr. Beast of 2K. I'm going to be handing out VC. Boom. It's easy as that. It's as easy as 1, 2, 3. Your VC earnings are being saved. Boom. Don't press anything. Let it update. Rematch. Yes, sir. Hit, hit me with it again, coach. Hit me with it again, coach. Hit me up with it again, coach. Move out of the way. Slide to left. Boom. Let him have his dunk. You have fun, coach. Step back. Make sure it's a three. Oh. Oh, my God. Curry's so clean with it. It's so easy. Trust me. You can literally have your phone in one hand. Like, oh, my God, dude. Like, right here, that's just not efficient. Like, you can have your, you can have your layup because I'm taking two for Curry, you know. But you just move out of the way just not to waste time and stuff. Whoop. Right? And then the score's up to five, so I'm just going to take a lay-in right now just to switch it up. Boom. Just wait. VC earnings are being added. 600 VC already because I played three matches. And has it even been a minute? Like, I'm just being honest with you. I'm trying to stall. I'm trying to stall so I can make this video a little bit longer. But, like, holy smokes, this is going fast. And I bricked. Of course I bricked. Of course. Come on now. You can have that. That's fine. That's fine. And also, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Like, release slightly early. Did you guys see that? Release slightly early, right? It's not slightly to the left, slightly to the right, correct? It's slightly early, right? Because you can use the shot meter from last year. And a lot of people have been worried about that. But, yes, you can still use shot meter from 2K20, bro. So, don't worry about that. Oh. 
Oh my god, Curry's so nice. I'm going to go a little bit into that after this, right? Because I'm going to show you guys how to get VC really quick. I already made my guy into an 80 just off of doing this and also playing park and stuff. But, like, it's really not that hard. And you can use the shot meter from the old 2K20 and the old 2Ks and stuff. And I'm going to get into that right now. So... All right, guys. All right, a lot of you guys have been worried. Like, oh my God, the shot meter, right? I don't like the new shot meter where you got to aim with the right stick and stuff. Well, guess what? 2K21 made arrangements for that. You can go back to the old school shooting where you just use a sh square button to shoot and you just time the shot. Right, and you can just use that if you want. You can use the new school as well. Honestly, if you practice a little bit with the new school, it's really not that bad. But everyone has personal preference, so 2K21 made accommodations for that. But I'm just gonna get into how to do the old school shooting and maybe talk a little bit about the new school as well. All right, so basically, you go under controller settings, you see the shot meter, right? Boom, you turn it on if you want the meter, you turn it off if you don't. It's as simple as that. It's really not that hard. Now, if you have it on, then that means the little bar is shooting up. Now, if I want to use square to shoot, I'm using square right now, right? Slightly early. You see how it says slightly early? That's because I'm using shot meter. Boom, green bean. Now, if I want to use the new school, un release center. I don't know if you guys seen that. Boom, slightly to the right. Because I'm using the right stick to shoot. Now, that was to the right. And it, and it is honestly a little bit harder. Especially for like people like me. I sit like 30 feet behind my screen. Right? So, it's kind of hard to see that minuscule, you know, like, line where you got to line it up on. Right? So, you're trying to just get as close as you can, honestly. Like, right there. Like, that's why I left. That's just Curry, though. So, he's going to get his. Um... And also, another thing you can do with the new shot meter is you use the right stick, right? You move it down, you move it to the left or to the right, wherever the line's at, right? But another thing you can do on top of that to increase your chances of making the shot is using the left, the L2 button to time it or left trigger for Xbox. So whenever you think is the, you know, top of the player's shot, you hit L2. You know, you can press, you can hold it, it doesn't matter. But you're aiming with the right stick, right? You line it up with the line, right? And whenever you think it's um, at the apex of the player's jumper, you hit L2. You can hold it or you can press it. Easy as that. I'll say it one more time for the people in the back. Right stick. As soon as you as soon as you bring it down, boom. As soon as you bring it down, you gotta you gotta see what sides it's on. Boom. It's, it's a little bit towards that side. Boom. Right? You try to line it up with the line. Now, on top of that, this is optional. If you want to increase your chances of making a jumper, you use the L2 button. You use the L2 button once it's at the apex of the shot, and bingo. It's really not that hard. You can even use square if you want. Like, that's a green bean. I'm used to square from all those years, you know. But L2 or the right stick thing, it's going to get a little bit used to it. I mean, like, honestly, if you want to, like, have glasses by like 25 years old like stare like walk in front of your screen and like look for the line and stuff me personally i value my eyesight so i'm just gonna probably stick to square button you know and i'm used to that like like i'm i'm like right on the line with the square right but with the right stick i'm kind of struggling because i'm again i sit all the way back like but 2K gave you both options is what the point of this thing is. So whichever one you like. And also just some brief, you know, things just to like, before I close this video out. Um, 2K21, if you buy the Mamba Edition, right, digital, you can upgrade to the PS5 version or Xbox One S or um, the new Xbox, right, for free, free of charge. That's only if you get the Mamba Edition. Also, Mamba Edition comes out with a lot of extra goodies, like a lot of VC, right? So you can take your 60 overall uh, my player bum to like at least like an 85 or something, right? Um, you can upgrade for free if you buy the normal 2K21 version. Nothing like that comes, right? You're gonna have to buy PS5 version and stuff, but you know, that's all personal preference. And uh, 
I hope you guys enjoy this video. These sort of videos are going to be back where I drop the intro and, you know, like the stream thing. Like, I'm still going to be streaming. It just, I'm not going to be doing, like, the streaming, cutting that up and putting it into a YouTube video because a lot of people want me to go back to old school. I hope you guys enjoy, though. Take care, guys. Make sure you leave a like, comment, sub, share with your friends and your family. Peace out, y'all. Hope you all have a wonderful day.